We're live. Hi, welcome to... Just give it a sec. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Inscription. Now, I've seen people uh, play this game a bit. Um, I played a little myself, actually. But uh, I wanted to restart, so I deleted some of my save files so I can play for a stream. So, this should be fun. <laughs> Let's just get into it. Hello? Oh, hi. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. You got a squirrel, a stoat, and two wolves. What if I don't want to play the squirrel? Oh, I guess I have to. Now play your stoat. Stoat costs one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Oh, bye, squirrel. Your sacrifice is not in vain. Wolves require two sacrifices. Oh, I didn't get to read that. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. See that? Ooh, get fucked. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Oh, thanks. Give me an easy dub like this. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage. Your stoat. Hey, man, what the fuck? That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. No, man, not my stoat. What the fuck? I love him. It's your turn again. Oh, is it? You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Um. Well, I kind of need a squirrel, so I'm gonna draw that fucking squirrel. How dull. What the hell you mean? That's a smart move. The wolf demands two sacrifices, so I'm gonna kill my stoat and squirrel. Fear not, the beast is sacrifice, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Sorry, bud. Well, get fucked, coyote. Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck, or the certainty of a squirrel? Um... Well, again, I kind of, like, need squirrels to be able to even play anything, so... Don't give me that look. You're making fun of me for using a squirrel before, but it's a smart move. Three damage dealt. Three ways on the scale. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? Pass. Wow, man's just giving me this easy victory royale, huh? Another squirrel. Sacrifice two squirrels. Place wolf there. End turn. Oh, get fucked. Dude, this guy never stood a chance. I'm already goaded at this game. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approach you and ten tentatively. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. Oh, thank God. The caustic adder, damaged from its poison bite, is always lethal. Only one may grace your paltry deck. 
Um, I'm gonna go with the fucking cat. Little kitty. Some of the creatures of the forest deem willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break it in case of emergency. And have a second. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with this. What's that for? Three is as much as you can carry. Aw, uh, dude, these big beefy arms say otherwise. I feel like I can carry a lot more than three items. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. By stumps? <laughs> hey, dude, I'm sorry. I had to kill you. It was the only way I was going to win there. Take your turn. Play along with you for now? I guess I might. I guess I will. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Bro is just trying to make it as easy for me as possible. Uh, okay, I got a squirrel, a play along for now, a river snapper, and a cat. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna play the squirrel. My boulder has five, all yours has three. Oh, what's he playing? A wolf cub. Ah, that thing's gonna suck. I'm gonna go for the one spot that I can hurt him. Here we go. My items may help. Yeah, but I'm I'm never gonna need them. Boom! Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Uh squirrel time. I don't want to sacrifice my stoat yet. Uh, let's put in the cat. Actually, why did I... No, it's just there for later. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh, many lies. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Okay, that's good to know. Oops. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Dude, what the fuck? Ah, my bat flew right over your stoat. Yeah, but it's not gonna... It's not gonna be good for long. Take that! I'll put this here for now. Oh, my stoat can kill it? I, but I thought it was flying. Yeah, well, I can't do anything that summons, so... Ooh, you're not looking too hot, buddy. Oh, I'm not looking too hot. Oh, fuck. Please give me some. Uh, actually, I can do this. Wolf will be perfect here. Yeah, there we go. Tipping the scales on you real quick. Literally. <laughs> Get fucked. Yeah, that's right. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now blooded terrain. Alright then, getting my steps in for today. The Meek Sparrow, an expensive, if feeble, flying creature. The Young Wolf Cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. Um, well considering you can still kill a flying creature, after, like, after it's taken its turn, I kinda wanna choose the Wolf Cub. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. What do you mean by that? I have to kill one of them? I just got this one, but I love the cat. But the cat kind of gets in the way. But the cat could be a really good move in the future. Uh, I can't tell. He's so good because I can just keep using him repeatedly. Uh, wolf cub, sorry. I can't tell if that was a bat. Ooh, pick me. You looked upon your... Your manager... I have no idea to say that word. And selected a healthy host. Well, he's saying pick me. I'll just give it to him. What an honor. 
the hell do you turn into? A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the wolf cub now lives in the stoat. You turn into a wolf? Because that's cool. Oh. Behold my totem. It's incredibly... It's in... Inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigils. You got flying dogs? What the fuck? This doesn't feel fair. Uh, yeah, squirrel, go! Cats, you go on squirrel. And then I have to end my turn. Oh, I accidentally skipped that. Holy fuck, dude. I'm just gonna like die immediately. Wait, I'm like already dead. I think. No, I'm not. I'm not dead. Okay, that does four damage. It looks like he only needs one more damage to hurt me. Um, This is not fucking good. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do... Oh, what the fuck should I do? Dude, I don't know. This might be a really stupid move, but I'm hoping I can... I'm hoping I can actually cover one damage before this happens. Oh shit, he's- wait, he's right, I actually have items. I'll kill the coyote, I have to kill the coyote. Um... Dude, I can't believe I'm already using one of those. That sucks. Uh, and then I'm gonna... Do that. Okay, good. That worked. Okay, I'm gonna place a scroll there. He's completely insane, you see that, right? No one- no care for the rules. Pathetic. Really. Enough. Yeah, enough, Stoat. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Dude, that does suck, but... I don't know what to say about it. Back on the board, yep. Stayed in the, uh, kinda stayed in the obvious there. You're one damage away from winning. What? Shouldn't he hurt my cat? I can't even do anything with this. Why is my- Oh, he flies over me. I'm an idiot. You're out of space. There's no room for that card. I know. And I win. Sweet. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. I uh, know, I'm the best. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. The stalwart snapper. I hear impenetrable defense. A proud wolf. A vicious contender. Oh, why he's got mushrooms? It's kind of gross. It makes me not want to pick them. Actually, kind of makes me want to pick them. They got mushrooms. Let's get someone new to our deck. Let's go to the porcupine. I think we need, uh... I think, uh, having, um... A wide array of different cards is actually gonna help us in the long run. Oh, don't look at me like that. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Ew, dude, that's fucking gross. Hmm. Dude, making this st Whoa, what if I made the cat do damage? Oh, that might be a goaded move. That actually might be insane. Because if I actually have a cat doing some sort of damage, I can place him out and have him doing at least something before I, um... Repeatedly keep using him to sacrifice or he dies to something else. Because the stoat turns into something. I don't know what he turns into. I'm gonna do the cat. I think the cat might be good. The fire warmed the poor cat, enhancing its power. One of the and survivors reached for it. Hey, dude! What, back off! Okay, I got a squirrel, a wolf, a snapper, and a porcupine. I kind of want to get my porcupine out there. This is like magic. I used to play magic a lot with my friends when we were younger. This game really does remind me of magic, but obviously it's way more simple. Um. Okay, I actually think 
Well, that's already being blocked by this, so I think I'm gonna use the squirrel here, and then I'm gonna use the porcupine here. Because it's at least gonna do some damage to the bear up there. Another grizzly, holy shit! A thorny rebuke. Uh-huh. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, but I don't have a sacrifice anymore. I might have actually already fucked up. Oops. I should have just taken the damage. If I don't place anything this turn, I'm not going to be able to place anything. Because that thing is going to hurt. Oh, shit. I might have already fucked up. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. I'm dead. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. What? Oh, yeah. What the fuck's going on in there? Let me in there. Let me the fuck in there. Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> it's not gonna let me in. What do you say? What do you what do you want me to do? Oh my god, the way this moves around is so disorientating. Whoa! Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop for you guys getting nauseous. What the fuck? Dude, why is there a hand there? Hello? Sir, why are you holding the- is the- is the safe door actually unlocked and you're just holding it shut? Is that what's happening? Can I pry your fingers off? No, I can't. Is it this one? Oh, it's that one. Bring it here. What if I don't wanna? What if I don't want to bring it here? You're already disappointed in me. Pretend uh, I'm licking his fingers. Oh, you like that? I mean, look at his beautiful eyes. His beautiful, soulless, small, black, beady eyes. I'm in here now. Okay, he wants me to give him the candle. I'll give him the candle. There you go. Now sit back down. Okay, well. What do you want from me? Let me explain something to you. Making the room darker? That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. What do you mean by that? Now, where were you? Where were me? Where were we? Where were we? You're not some, like, psychopathic killer that brings people into a cabin just to play a game with them until, uh, they fail and you ha- you ha- you kill them, right? The mighty elk. It moves after attacking. Okay, I already got these two. Uh... You know, having a bunch of wolves actually seems pretty sick, but this guy got four HP. That's, um, seems pretty good, so... I need a lot of health in my deck right now. Nothing's beefy except for the snapping turtle, but like, I don't ever play him. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Ooh, I know what type of hard place it could get me out of. Choose one. Um... I already have a squirrel, and this is just a, a rock, so... A skull? Trees seem to close in around you as a chill with as a chill mist descended. How'd you do this? How did you get all these trees to appear? In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A horrible hob hob a, ho a hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeehaw! Twas the prospector! Oh my god! Dude, I could not get any more Easy boss, the mule's key. Okay, well, I got a squirrel, the mule's key, elk, and a wolf. Um... Can I see their cards? Oh, I can. 
Well, you said the mule's key. I'm assuming I should kill the mule, so. Okay, well, these are both gonna come down. That's gonna do nothing. That's gonna do two damage. So the stoat will live, but... How much health does it have? One? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. What are you saying? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna end my turn. Ag! Okay, is another coyote ahead? I'm gonna place the squirrel here for now in case something else comes. I don't know. Oh shit. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Just overkill damage? But this thing isn't even in play yet. How does that even work? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over the card behind the mangled corpses of the victim. Lucky for you. Yeah, see, I don't see how this works. Um, let's get another squirrel so I can bring my wolf. Uh, see, I kind of want to, I kind of actually just want to wait to see what he places. That way I know where to put either of these. Because my stoat's going to hurt it now, and it's going to move over, and I want to see what else comes. So I'm actually going to wait on using my squirrels. Okay, well, like Kaio is just gonna hit the boulder, so. And is it gonna come down here? Okay, I'm just gonna put the- I'm, I'm actually just gonna put the wolf there. Oh, a cat! Okay, put the wolf there. So it kills the mule. Um, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? A tooth! Is that a gold tooth? Dang, nabbit, my mule! I'll stop talking, dude. It's already hot in this room. Um, okay, wow, I just drew a bullfrog, another wolf, and a bullfrog. Uh, what takes one? Bullfrog? Okay, I'll do the bullfrog. Wait, do I already have a squirrel? I already have a squirrel. I won't allow. What do you mean? So I'll just draw one of these then. Oh, or porcupine. Bullfrog, porcupine. What does this symbol mean again? Mighty leap, a card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature's bearing the airborne sigil. Oh, shit. Wait, I kind of want that then, in case he places a, a dumb flying. Okay, put the squirrel, and then put the bullfrog. Sweet. That's the end of my turn. Oh, get fucked! You got two health? I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Honestly, I did. There's gold in them cards. What do you mean by that? What the fuck, dude? Dude! G -g -g gold I've struck gold! That's not fucking cool, dude. Those are my, um... Those are my... My boys, my, my, uh, my gals, my, uh, compadres. What the fuck? So just draw a squirrel. Can I even, like... Can you sacrifice the gold? No, I can't. There's no more for that card to be played. I know, because you, you did this shit. I can't do anything. Bloodhound. That's a fucked up looking dog. What the shit? Okay, how many squirrels do I have? One. Um... You know, I should probably... Probably actually would be smart. I mean, draw a card. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Wait, what is this? When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Um, okay. There's nothing there, so... I think that's good. No, there is an overkill. Shit. At least he's gonna be attacking this gold, and I have a wolf here. Um... It only has one damage. I should probably get my porcupine in there, actually. That'd probably be smart. Alright, squirrel there, porcupine here. Base porcupine there. 
Nice. So now when that Bloodhound attacks, yep, it hurts him. Sick. Oh fuck, is that a death touch? Touch of death. When a card bearing the sigil bear da damages another creature, that creature perishes. Uh, okay, what can I do here? Okay, well I have a wolf. I need a squirrel to do something. Oh, I'm gonna place squirrel there. Place bullfrog here. There we go. Yes! Oh, we're we're cooking now, baby. Cooking with fucking gas and propane. Not the same thing. Uh, okay. That's a death touch card. I can't really do anything about it right now. Actually, I'm fine. Honestly, I'm just gonna draw a squirrel and then end my turn. Yeah, I won. <laughs> this is so easy. What? Oh, fuck. Oh, everything was already red <laughs> from the beginning of the game. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Aw, oh, thanks, dude. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. Really? As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Choose carefully. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? An uninspiring geck. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but you do. Or, what? But do you have the heart to try? A largely unimpressive specimen. Strange larva. That's, that thing is fucking disgusting. Child 13. Uh, so it's just the cat. Gek. The Gek does nothing. It's just a- Oh, it doesn't have a, a cost. Wait, that's cool. Strange larva. Dude, I'm so interested to know what the larva does. I'm gonna choose the larva. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onward. Where am I going? There's nothing up there. Bye. Hmm. Oh shit, everything's green. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the human, humid air. Now that's what I'm talking about, baby. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands.